This is Group Therapy. In this show we take two absolute Dark Souls noobs and let them help each other to try and beat Dark Souls 3. In today's episode we attend Bayou Bob's wedding. Pontiff Sullivan of Eretil imprisoned a gold of the old royalty in the abandoned cathedral to be fed to the devourer. So we know Aldrich um, eight people, but yeah. apparently, because Pontiff Sullivan is actually a sort of magician, so he turned those uh, knights into monsters and the, the ghostly knights in Eretil, all his work. Um, but apparently he also imprisoned a gold, and Aldrich ate the gold. <laughs> So that's not uh, gonna be fun, right? <laughs> wow, that was that only took us well half an hour or forty minutes. To forty yeah. minutes, I guess. Previous session and Ooh, now twenty-eight thousand souls. Yeah. What? Maybe we just go to filing shroud because it's not. <laughs> we still have ten minutes. Gonna it's happen. a fine armor we have right now. Yeah, that's. It's, we can actually just keep that going. Yeah, because it's mean. Like the the little ones are gonna be no, easier gonna... to kill right now because they don't do a lot of damage. Right Woo! And it's now uh Are we were gonna do the Yeah <laughs> I think we have the hooray as well. Rejoice <laughs> Um yeah, level up I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> that was like so fucking random. <laughs> In the middle of nowhere everybody's just like what the fuck are you doing? Uh, Bayou Bob is back and why is he cheering? He didn't kill a Lord of Sunday. Fate is the, the lightning magic essence we're gonna be. We're pr getting yeah. pretty close to get because we wanna put oh, lightning on our clubs. Yeah, so we and need we're almost at the point where we can do that. So uh Fate. we need lightning. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, Fate. I think it's gonna yeah, be awesome. Lightning gonna be, on clubs. That's gonna be really awesome. <laughs> lightning clubs. So now we actually don't have enough for another Yeah, yeah one twist very twisted, twisted soul. <laughs> of Pontef Soleil's van and nobody knows how to pronounce his name by the way. Begin transition? Yeah. Transposition. Transposition. Oh. Transition. That's uh, transition. That's so delayed. we have this one, which is the Great Sword of Judgment, which was his magic sword. So if you check the description, a ceremonial sword held in well, it hurt a lot for your ceremonial sword, <laughs> held in a Pontiff Sullivan's left hand, representing the judgment of the moon, but with magic far closer to sorcery than any existing lunar power. Its dark blue hues. That was freaking purple. Yeah. Deeper than the darkest moon reflects Sorcerer Sylvan's true nature, so confirming that Sylvan is a magician. For a ceremonial sword, it hits pretty fucking yeah. hard. So uh, with, the, <laughs> with the skill you can unleash the dark magic. So, and then we have the... We can actually buy both swords. Because the, the one next to it is the Wolf Knight Greatsword we wanted to buy from the Abyss Watcher Soul. So maybe buy that as well? Yeah. So these two? No. I or just this one? Just the middle one, yeah. Okay. The wolf's sword. Okay, and then read the one next to it. Profane great sword, a ceremonial sword. <laughs> Why is it ceremonial if he's hitting people in the face with it? <laughs> Held in Pontiff Sullivan's <laughs> right hands. It's <laughs> part of the ceremony. <laughs> yeah. A ceremony by an impaling bolt with a sword, <laughs> representing the profaned flame. Long ago, when Sullivan was yet a young sorcerer, he discovered a profaned capital and an unfading flame below a distant tundra of Eretil, and a burning ambition took root within him. So, he found a city below Eretil. Burning ambition. And he Oof. found a fire. <laughs> and he found a fire that doesn't go out. And that's what he used to. Uh, it's called wood. His, <laughs> <laughs> that makes a fire not go out. So, yeah, you can buy the profane great sword as well. Yep, and we're gonna it, equip it, that bad boy. It's and this one we get for free. Yeah, we can do. Well, we, we <laughs> never used magic wand, so mm. it's It's actually a sword that it's also that's also a magic wand. I think it's pretty fucking cheap. The two two swords, three thousand each. I mean, that's only six thousand. While yeah. the other one is like ten thousand from. But the you can't actually. buy two in the same playthrough since you only have one soul. Because you use the soul to make the sword. Oh, so you can only yeah. buy one. Yeah. Unless you go to New Game Plus and then kill him again, get the soul again, and buy the other sword. Oh, okay. Because you need to do that for all the trophies. But we'll see, because we're going to get oh my more God. souls. Yeah. That thing is so giant. Now, do the, do the menu away. And then I think if you... <laughs> oh my God. Because right now it's not on fire. If but it's so heavy. It, yeah. If, yeah. That's All those swords are that slow. That's why I, I let you keep the, the, the smaller swords. 
because those are attack way fast. If you look at the other direction, uh, two-handed with triangle. If you hold L2 and then R2 at the same time, yeah, now it's on fire for half a minute, I think. So now you do extra fire damage for as long as that's on, but that does drain your magic meter to activate that. But it takes a while for it to go out because I'm using it in my other. Uh, I think it's just the same. Do some hit for you. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. probably actually longer than 30 seconds. Yeah, now you just activated it again, so I don't <laughs> know how long it's gonna take. But that's an attack, and it actually launches enemies in the air, smaller enemies. If you do that uppercut, but don't. Ooh, Jesus Christ, don't hit anything. <laughs> This one. Yeah, so there. that actually launch, you can actually combo with bigger swords because you can launch them in the air and then do two su subsequent slashes without them be being able to do anything. This. Yeah. <laughs> that thing is so fucking heavy. <clears throat> but it hits like a truck. Yeah, I bet it does. <laughs> I hope you it need does. the fucking side, the thing, the sword is longer than by Bob's eye. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when you don't hold the sword, what does he do with the sword? I mean, he puts it in his magic bio bulbs pouch. Because the thing is fucking giant. You, you you can put it in a pocket. That thing is. Oh. Fucking... oh. I think it's a minute or so. Yeah, my. And when is the magic coming back? No, never. <laughs> never. When you're uh, either at the bonfire of if or if you have Ashenastus floss, you can drink that to fill uh. it up again. Okay. So we'll leave him without a helmet for now, then. Yeah. We can upgrade our vitality. I mean. Then we see his pretty little face. Yeah. Read the message. Bloody expensive notes. <laughs> what? You offed the look. Say that. Oh, oh. Oh, do we need the. the yeah, yeah, the, otherwise. I pity the sorry souls. So he just noticed that we Is killed the other one. Oh. Lordship's last reward. <laughs> and he's sad that that's the way they return to their thrones. Fuck again? Ah. I failed to thank you. For helping them find their final resting place. So Farron Ring, because uh, he was also part of the Abyss Watchers oh. before. Mm. But he got out before things got uh, too wacky. Uh, so we don't so we have got to the, kill him. <laughs> if you check out the ring you just got, it gives us a bit more information. The Abyss Watchers for their Stay hunting time. required a sword <laughs> technique that went beyond any existing art. Wolf's blood provided just that, and this ring further extends the effect. So it reduces the skill FP consumption. So if you use the special weapon attacks that normally drain your magic bar, yeah. uh, it reduces the cost to be able to use those attacks. Fancy. So we, uh, we got rid of the helmet, because otherwise we couldn't use the clubs. Yeah, they're uh, awesome. Oh yeah, we can go back to uh, Old Diff. Sullivan! As long as he's not there, I'm fine. He's not gonna be there. <laughs> he's not gonna be there. <laughs> it's like... It's uh, not good at uh, blocking trusting attacks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you step right through. <laughs> <laughs> so look around, because this place is pretty. You know, I can uh, watch without getting hit or slammed. There's like an upper area. Indeed. So we have to go there. Yeah, we can go there. I think it's optional, but we will go there. Okay, go outside. Is there somebody here? Wait for a second. I hear crystal lizard. Yeah, they're down there. Oh, two of them. Go! You can only kill one, I think. No, no, the other one is stuck too. The other one was stuck. No, he probably just jumped off. And disappeared. Twinkling Titanite. Where yeah, the flower? To the right side. So if you look up now, we can see the castle where we need, we're going. Oh, we haven't been stuck. there yet. What the fuck are you doing? I was stuck. <laughs> I, th I thought for a second he was talking to the cat. <laughs> but then I realized there is no cat. Cat in a hat. Oh, there's something <gasps> there's there. Something. Can we reach it? <laughs> you can jump. never reach it. Jump, jump by your ball. Jump. jump. I can't jump. <laughs> So, uh, this looks I lovely, that right? Games. I think Jumping. we have to be very silent in here. Just keep your eyes open. That's <laughs> looking to looking to completely 
Look in front of you! <laughs> Why? Yeah, we know. We saw it. These I guys. hear the fucker. <laughs> you can hear it. Yeah, you can hear them snoring. They are snoring, yeah, they are sleeping. So these are actually smaller versions of the, the giants we've been seeing in the cathedral. Yeah. So, can you wake them? Yeah, you can wake them, but not all of them are alive. Oh, Most okay. of them are dead. Don't. Oh. I think... Uh, I heard something. <laughs> I heard something. It's coming from, Arrows. Your, from your left and I wouldn't go... Oh. Uh, um. I woke uh, everything up! Yeah, are we not fighting anymore? So see what he's using? Yep, yeah, the they're same. Uh, killing me. Yeah, I think... Roll, sorry. Yeah, I can't roll because I was fucking stunned at the same time. You're gonna have to fight those two guys at once, but don't just go in and think you're gonna survive everything they throw at you. Oh, there they are. I see them. Yeah. I saw one. There he oh, is. Yeah. Watch out. Huh? Yeah, I think it's probably the troll this no uh, he's hitting something. Yeah. Ah nice. Hey, hey. <laughs> a tree or something. <laughs> so you have to fight these guys here together. Yeah, but I'm gonna fight them here away together. from those. Because they're they're both coming in your direction. You can't Oh ah, okay, so I mean okay. you can't pull one. Okay. Because even if you shoot one with an arrow, with a bow and arrow, I thought you both gonna come uh you should kill them at the same... Uh, um, this, this guy is stepping back again. Yeah, if, if the, the other one... <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? Yeah. Now he's going... Yeah, they're okay. coming. If you can't keep them separate, that's all yeah, the Yeah, they are separate course. now. Oh. Whoa. Watch out for your stamina, because you have... No! Oh. You're paying. Nice one. If you go back a bit further... The other yeah. one? Yeah, it's... it's yeah, that's good. And now they it's don't, coming. They don't respawn, so... And he actually gets... No, he got back back and forth. Okay, do it like that, man. Oh. Yeah, we got him. Just keep going. Another one. Oh, oh. shield. Hit. Yeah. Yeah, and heal. 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 The other one is there. I don't know what... So that one won't respawn now, so... And he's using the same weapons you are, so... So you go... But he's dual wheeling them. And he has more stamina than you have. Yeah. So Apparently. don't... If you can roll through them, roll through them, because he's... He's... Going through every bit of stamina you have at one hit, so... What? Yeah, he got... You're not completely invulnerable, dude. Watch out! Just hit him in the air. Oh. What the f... Yeah, it's a bitch. Yeah, you're fine, you're fine. Oh, go! What's up? No stamina, no stamina. Yeah, I'm doing good. Almost have him. Oh, <laughs> that was <laughs> walking right into Watch it. Watch out, you don't fall off. Ooh, that was just out of reach. Now. Got him. One more, yeah. There we go. Easy peasy. <laughs> so now if you want you can go back to item. the bonfire. Yeah, take the item. And now we have the Drang Twin Spears as well. So we are using the Drang Hammers. Oh yeah. So that's... So those, those were the Drang Brothers. So I, I hope can just you are right because we did a thing once and they did came back. <laughs> yeah, but those guys don't come back. I, I tested a few weeks ago. So okay. That would be weird if they would have patched that out in between those weeks. <laughs> So now yes. it's only the big guy. Uh, yeah, there's actually those two. Priests. There's actually two that are alive. Oh, okay. I only saw I one. Think. Yeah, because I think it's there's only one that actually wakes up on its own. But the other ones just stay down unless you hit them, or make a lot of noise. Because you started running as <laughs> well. These guys keep on. You were walking past most of them here and it's, it was only until you got to the, yeah, to the, the two drag knights. And can they, I just lure them into this courtyard there? You can just leave them if you want to. All of them? Yeah. Most of them are dead. I, don't, I think there's only two of them that are actually alive. Oh. If you keep going in that direction, because there's an item here as well. but 
Ah, ah. Oh, look at them. Where is the item? Yeah, never mind, just heal. Oh. Yeah. You can run! run. <laughs> and get your souls. I think it's only a thousand souls, but it's something! There we go. Right. So now I have two ways. We can go towards the priests, or inside of here. Maybe first inside of here. Because you can get in uh, the upper area a, of the cathedral if you go past the priests. There's an invisible wall because there are messengers. Yeah. Indeed! Yeah. Good eye, yeah. Oh, yeah. In front of Because that's one of the side. most important invisible walls in Pure the game, I think. Oh, ha! First try. Oh, I remember this. Ah, that's from that's the video from the you video, sent me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's from the video you sent okay. me. So that where there was an invader with a guy. He sent me a video oh, yeah, 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 and yeah. he just stood on this ladder. It's a, a, yeah. Indeed, this is the ladder. Yeah, he was on for hours. Yeah, you're not gonna like this area. Yeah, probably not. Don't, don't start walking immediately yet. It's just look around. Items. Oh. Uh, Remember that thing? Uh, yeah. Oh. So why um, is it here? Uh, there's two. No. What? There's one on the left as well. If you just walk over here, I don't think you pull them already. If you uh, just walk in the water, I don't think you trigger them unless you enter the room. There's one on the left as well. Oh, oh my fucking god. And so why? I just wanted to show you this. This is the, There's not a bonfire in here you can activate if yeah. you want, but you need to kill both of them. And there's in the corner, if you can see that, yeah. yeah, there's one of those fat priests, and he's also one of the deacons. So there's archdeacons, so the, the, yeah. the bishops, the archbishops, mm -hmm. that were under the, the highest ranking priests in, uh, in, in, in Irithyll and the Cathedral of the Deep. So Aldrich's uh, genital, so to speak. We killed one in the Cathedral of the Deep. Yeah. And the one in the corner there is another one. But he's the master of another one of the covenants of the groups. Oh. And that covenant is just here to protect Aethel. So you could have gotten invaded when you because we had an amber when we entered the area. Yeah. And this area is protected by that covenant. So technically the game could have summoned another player into our game to try and kill us. Because of that covenant, but mm. I mean, we we pretty much cleared out the the square up upstairs, so we can always cross the square without having to encounter any enemies. I mean, the bonfire isn't really beneficial for us having to kill both of those crocodile monsters now, because I think they're even a bit stronger than the one on the bridge. Yeah, go but faster, go faster. <laughs> we're go faster. stronger too, but not strong enough to hit two of those. I mean, this, this area is going to be hard enough already as it is, so I'm not going to spend too much time with the crocodiles. A crocodile, hound A crocodoc. A crocodoc. A crocodoc. So, uh, there's a good item behind that wall. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> like that scale. Ooh. So normally you would, you would have to kill those giant crystal lizards to get tight net scales. If you look to the left, look up there. We've seen that building a few times already from very far away, but now yeah. we're a bit closer. Um, but actually, very and, close. And that's actually one of the optional areas of the game. Oh. Um, so you can go there. We, I think we might go there eventually. It's also the home of the hardest boss in the game, but. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh. That was a fucking giant nail! <laughs> Where is the fucker? Oh, there he is. <coughs> the there's one over here. What? There's two! Yeah, there's a few. And uh, how do I fucking get there? Oh, you... There. Yeah. So we need but to go he... to the right. Is like... he gonna fucking... Yeah, that's the hard part of this level. an arrow in my fucking throat. Yeah, you can roll two arrows. Yeah. You can also block them, but... It's You're gonna, gonna be pushed back a little bit, and it's gonna, it's it's especially hard because of the fact that we're on narrow ledges. So we need to drop down here. Yeah. yeah so that's gonna be us for the next 15 oh, minutes. Oh wow! That's, that is so there's one over here, and that's not the one shooting arrows, but we're gonna have to go past him. Get him. Yeah. And they're the similar. They're the same knights uh, Kistov fought in the beginning of Irito. Yeah, I know. The ones with the lightning sword. So can he? He has a lightning sword. He also has a bow. He's currently holding a bow, but once you get close, oh, and the other one is up there. Yeah. <laughs> so there's at least three that you can see. 
but you can hear when an arrow is leaving. So you're just going to have to try timing that or just run towards. Because if you're running, if you're not running directly at them, take the right side because he's on the left. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> As you know, uh, so we towards the need car. to keep going up and then to the left, but we're gonna... Do we have to kill them all? Yeah. It, you can run past all of them, but I would start running. Can he shoot his mate? No. There's but no how am I going on. to kill the fucking Lame. heavy dude here if I just can stand on this fucking square? This half, half circle, yeah. So, <laughs> oh. yeah he knows you're there, but... Cause but he's not coming. Yeah, because oh. he, he, the game is, of course, set up so that you... Would have to trigger him to come over here, so exposing you to the arrow guy. You could run, but that would gonna have to be a mad dash through everything. But again, where, where, where well, do we have to go? go? Again, up, so yeah. the path you see here, and yeah. then to the left, close yeah. to the building, and yeah. then just keep going. And, and I'll I'll try to give more explanation once we're going. Go up the stairs. Oh. What? Yeah, keep There's going, another one. keep going, keep going. And then down to the right and then down across that beam. Maybe heal while you're here. Oh shit. And then drop down and into the, the, the building. Oh! oh, The building here. Back, right? Yeah. Okay. They don't follow you in here. Stop, 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 stop. <coughs> Back away slowly. I have a giant arrow in my I think elbow. You have to stick, okay. I think you have to um, stand there on that... Where the messages? What have we done wrong? Look at Bob. Wait. Yeah. Okay. So I'm thinking that this is the point where we continue the storyline with Andre normally. Can you try hitting the statue? Could this be a bonfire? Uh, yes, I could. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No mind. That's good. Go down. Magic pot. <laughs> I hope. Well, it's, it's a magic bolt. Ah, crap. Oh, no. We Nominee, there should wrong. be someone okay. here. Huh. So this, I'm, I'm just going to explain this in a, in a second as well. Ooh. I'm just going to wait until... Yeah, the whole can, armor set. Yeah, the whole armor set. I'm going to explain everything in a second. You can go back. Um, we're going to come back here in a second. I'm going to have to look up what we did wrong, because that's weird and sad. Yeah, because we went all the way. Yeah, because we talked to Henry in the Yorskas chapel as well, if I recall. So that should be the last time we talked to her. Yeah, but just go, just go. Uh, yeah, the only other exit out of this place. Totally missed that go. one. <laughs> totally missed. So if you look to the... Uh, yeah, uh, I just, just want yeah. to what? enjoy this Yeah, enjoy that thing. What the hell? Giant Why? building. Corkscrew building. <laughs> okay, that's nice. So if you look to the right, yeah, that tower, yeah, is Yorska's chapel. Oh yeah, where we were before, yeah. Yeah, so that's where we always respond after we try to kill uh, Pontiff Sullivan. That's the chapel, and that's also the chapel where we last talked to Henri. We were too soon. No, no, no. I think we just forgot to talk to um, Yuria, the the woman that replaced uh, Yol, the uh. the slug guy. Ah, and upstairs there's a, a, bo bonfire. a bonfire. <laughs> it's a bo 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 bonfire. This is a really, really cool. Beep. This is a really cool moment for people that have played Dark Souls One, because if you go, uh, oh. so now we need to golden steps. Yeah. Push it. Push it and Push it back it. up. Good. Yeah. Oh my God! Are you serious? Oh. Yay! Oh. We're going up. Holy <laughs> shit! Shit. Okay, and then nice. go back down probably. Uh, this is cool. To go to the right. So oh, actually, no, because now we're really high up. If you look, yeah, because really cool. it needs to go up there. Wait, look, look on the other side. So to the. You the can jump the off. So oh. that's that tree. Yeah. That's where we killed the rotted great wood. Oh. So the, our third boss, I think, yeah. the big tree. And then on the right, that's Lotter Castle. Oh. Yeah. The building underneath that is the Cathedral of the Deep. You can see everything from over here. Just cool to see where all, where we've been, and that's Irithel all, all, all below there, and the the, Don't fall down. the church where we killed Pontiff, the Pontiff, and that's where we just killed those two guys downstairs. 
That's oh yeah, the big, the, the big, the big square. square with uh, all the giants. The giants are gone. Yeah, yeah, because of the draw distance. They don't, they don't show you. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you go, they to could the do oh, a level <laughs> of detail. <laughs> That's gonna be a deep drop if I do that. So this is a really cool moment for players who have played Dark Souls One. Bazaar oh, Londo, as if you look up, this is an exact copy of a level from Dark Souls One. So this Ooh. is a, a the, the you got so yeah some something probably died. Um, <laughs> so in Dark Souls One, you need to ring two bells and then go into a fortress and open go through a gate, and that gate is completely destroyed. But you get lifted over the gate by those two demon creatures that also bring you from Lotric down to the Undead Settlement in this game. And they bring you over the wall and across the wall is Anerlondo, a, a beautiful city in the, in, the, in the sunlight. And now this thing has been completely wrecked a bit and it's been pulled together towards Lotric and it's actually the same city. Giant mm. So the, um, the reason why the messages down below said visions of familiar yeah is because if you hit the statue, because that statue is also there in Dark Souls 1, there's a boss fight behind that. Oh. And it's the, the son of one of, uh, of Gwyn, of the, the gold from Dark Souls 1. And we're going to see more of that family, because we read from the soul of Pontiff Sullivan that he captured a gold from the old royal family, so that Aldrich could eat that gold. Mm -hmm. So you might see a familiar face. But yeah, that's just like the bonfire. And go back to Filing Shrine because we're actually up here pretty fast. I skipped past a few things, but and in the in the church we just see now the cathedral we yeah. can see is the well most people feel like the hardest boss battle in Dark Souls One, so that's why this area is so memorable because mm. it's a it's a boss battle with, uh, against two big knights. Speak, I desire, honorable lord of Hollow. So remember, we're still the Lord of Hollow since we died. I yeah. mean, we Just look like, a, like crap right now. So let's talk stop. to her, I think, oh, I Lord hope. Mish. Knowest thou of a maid named Anri? She is hollow. And will join thee in wedlock. A fellow of mine guides her at this moment. When the time is ripe, thou mayst make thy salutations. For what Lord taketh no spouse? So there we go. We can now go marry Amri. Why your bomb is getting married? Leave. Yeah, yes. leave. Alright. Okay. Till we meet again. So now we can go back, pull the staircase down again. Oh yeah, and go in the other direction. Yeah, and the, behind the statue. Because I think it's actually open without you needing to have to hit the statue if you talk to Yulia first. So oh. that was a what what was I was what the what with what we 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 the we that was yeah why i was surprised that the door wasn't open you know what this what uh, you don't know Anor what Londo. this what so now we can go back in the another one died yeah i think there's probably <laughs> an enemy that tries to get you but yeah downstairs <laughs> he's waiting for me there so um yeah just go down now down the staircase no don't well, there's, that's actually really funny you did that, but, but uh, one secret at a time. Because the, the things we're doing right now is actually really hard to do on your first try because it's so intricate. Because every, every time we talk to Ali, you need to talk to her every time and say the correct things for this to happen. And you need to have died five times and got the dark sign from Yol before we kill the Abyss Watchers. And then talk to Yuria a few times so we can get this dialogue. And then you can go into marrying her. And it's all, all working towards one of the endings. Because what we're doing right now is actually one of the endings. And the, the armor set you got here, I think it's on the left. Oh, no, just keep going. The armor set we got from that corpse is actually the firekeeper from Anerlondo. Oh. The, the firekeeper from the original game how has did, that armor set. How what? did you know before that it do? wasn't going to work and now there's still nothing happening. No, we need to go back again. Wee! Bombayard! Bombayard! They should make a song of it. 
It is a song. That's it. That's, it. That's, it. That's, it. that's why I sing yeah. it. <gasps> yeah, that's the, the the song is actually like that. It's, uh, I think it's Krillax. I only know the song because it's in Breaking Bad. Oh, so you're using us to get your trophy. My other character is also set up to uh, <laughs> do this because I already so married Oni. Honorable Lord. <laughs> no! Try it again. Ah. That, that's different dialogue. Yeah. Oh, so I have to talk about it. Yeah, okay. And maybe do it in all. No, so yeah. that's that's also the point where she says where to find her because Dark okay. Moon refers to because the son of Gwyn was called Gwendolyn, and he was known as the Dark Moon. But um, the creepy thing about that is that Gwyn didn't want another son because he already had a son. Uh, yeah, the fire the fire keeper is just on the stairs. That's nothing. Did you see anything else? No. She's, Why? It's just a sometimes she changes position. She, she's, she has done that before as well. So yeah. Gwyn, I'm gonna actually talk about this as well. So Gwendolyn was the son of Gwyn, but because Gwyn already had a son, he didn't want another son. So he forced Gwendolyn to act and look like a woman. It's important for later on because yeah, Gwendolyn wasn't happy because of that. And that's why she's called, he, she is called she. the, the Dark Moon because she was and in, in Dark Souls 1, Honor Londo looked very pretty. Up until you went into the cathedral, killed the boss. And then you saw uh, We're gonna do this for hours and we're gonna have <laughs> loads of souls. <laughs> and at the end of that, you got a giant woman in in, a, in bed. And that was Guinevere. But it was an illusion of Guinevere. If you hit the illusion once, she died but just disappeared. And the entire city was plunged into darkness. So the fact that Anelondo looked so nice was an illusion made by Gwendolyn. Because oh. Gwendolyn was the only one still in the city. So already kind of spoiling which god that <laughs> Aldrich has eaten. Because Gwendolyn was the only one still in the city. Yeah. Um, but there's more to the, the, the story than that. But I'll keep oh, that yeah. There we go. Oh yeah. But it's not your sadly, because this one is actually... Oh, oh. oh gracious lord. Your is dead. Why is she looking at <laughs> the wall? Your spouse awaits you. Your spouse awaits you. You are very near. So we're gonna marry her. No, marry Andri. Oh. You remember Andri? The, the girl in armor? Oh, in our armor that we told, that we yeah. killed her boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. And now we're gonna marry her. <laughs> it's actually yeah. very sad. Yeah, they're very sad. Mm. What are you doing? She's uh, offering the sword of a vowel. So, should we put it on? Uh, you, can, you can you can check it out because it's actually interesting. Ceremonial sword of Londor cannot be equipped as a weapon. It is said that a right of wedlock. Oh, will this is a ceremonial sword you can't use. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> It is said that the right of wedlock will presage a true hollow lord. So wedlock is just a wedding. Your spouse's name is Andri, who patiently awaits a rightful lord deep within the mausoleum. So we saw, because we went along the hallway already, you saw the giant tomb. Yeah. That's where, um, I think it's where Quinn is supposed to be buried. Because that's sort of the tomb of Quinn. Since it's hidden behind the statue you hit to get to yeah. open this up is a, a statue of Quinn. We never really looked at it, but that, that was Gwyn. Uh, so yeah, go marry. Go marry the girl. <laughs> Buddy don't, Pop is getting married! But don't kill her. The, the, the boss fight is actually in here from Gwendolyn in Dark Souls 1. And oh, this oh. hallway keeps automatically extending what? during the boss fight. So you never get to the end until oh. you kill him. Uh, so there she is. But she's lying there. Yeah, yeah she just... The hell? Is she's, she doing? Yeah, she's alive. Because she, if you look at her, she removed her helmet and her head is underneath the oh. the veil. Very special. It's like a funeral. Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> she's still alive. You can see her moving oh. a little. We're gonna marry. <gasps> so by a bob, you know how to marry a girl, right? No. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> sit on her face. <laughs> <laughs> sit on her face. I just give her a little uh. kiss. Uh, bob. Bob, no, that's not. It's a ceremonial what? sword. Bob, Bob, Bob. Um, Bob doesn't know how to marry a girl. No, I don't think Bob knows how to marry a girl. Yeah, how to marry? He knows how to marry a girl. 
Bob sticking something in the girl what? is not what we meant with that. You need to stick something in the girl after the wedding. And it's not a sword in her face. <laughs> Why? What? To the chest. So yeah, we're trying to become the Lord of Hollows, which is pretty evil. So we killed it. by marrying her, we just... <laughs> oh, it's that just face. means taking, killing her. Killing her, and we just got three extra dark sigils for it. Um, yeah. Bob just killed Henri. Why? <laughs> we were supposed to marry the fucking girl. And she could help us. So uh, now she, she can't, can't really help anybody now because her face is stuck to the floor. <laughs> so why did we do this? Uh, well, it's, it's required for one of the endings. <laughs> okay. It's the coolest ending of the tree, so... Can we zoom in like this? Oh, you can use the binoculars if you use the... Uh, wow. <laughs> Uh, where the fuck am I? It's like it's like it's uh, it's censored. You were just out of the reach of the impaled head. Okay, you can't see shit with that. Yeah, no, you can't see shit. So the um, worst binoculars I have ever uh, seen. There's also an item behind the tomb. Yeah, where the messages are, which is really interesting. Oh. Is, yeah, it's in the chest. Oh, watch out for the chest! Don't believe it. <laughs> oh. I don't care. Reversal ring. I read that because that's actually pointing towards Gwendolyn again. A divine ring granted to the dark moon Gwendolyn in his youth causes males to perform female actions and vice versa. Gwendolyn was raised like a daughter to the aura of the moon and was said to behave like a sullen brooding goddess. Oh, yeah. So that's again talking about the fact because I wouldn't want you to be surprised about the fact that Gwendolyn was a guy but raised like a daughter. He didn't like that very much, if you've seen him in the yeah, probably not. one, he was really pissed about that. Who wouldn't? Um, so yeah, if you equip that, you can use the... Because there's a few female pieces of armor. And is there female, something uh, behind I this thing? I think there is. So, that was a lovely scene, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's <laughs> stick a giant fucking ceremonial sword in her face. Yeah. Couldn't be used as a weapon. What but we, we did! Yeah, we did. You did. Well, we learned from Pontiff Sullivan. How to use some ceremonial swords. Yeah. <laughs> and look. Oh, maybe talk. Uh huh. Uh, she and she's dead as well. Oh, and the item. So remember, you'll die. Yeah, chameleon is a spell to uh, transform into a normal object so you can hide from enemies. <gasps> you'll die because we died. No, you'll die because he fulfilled his duty. So he oh, gave yeah. us those five yeah. Oh, so that's. Oh, okay. And now she has fulfilled her, her duty. duty by. Um, well, Letting us marry, yeah. marry, stick a sword in a girl's Please. face. Next time, home group therapy. Uh, is this a glitch? Oh my god, are you <laughs> serious? Oh, there he is. Yeah. No, right in the nut. Run, 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 run.